what's up guys welcome back to the channel again coming to you again with another quick update on our uh, Monte Carlo project the ZL1 Monte Carlo I'm at LMB Fab uh, I'm dropping off the new uh, new wheel basically that we we ended up having to go with uh, so we we changed changed up some things on the uh, on the barrels on the wheels it's a three-piece wheel so we we changed out the outer and inner barrels to get a, a slightly different offset and uh, we also ended up going with a different tire uh, to give us a little bit more clearance. So we got a smaller tire as well with a smaller sidewall, a narrower profile. So we got our uh, our new tire mounted on our uh, our wheel with the new barrels. Um, so now it's time to get this thing test fitted and uh, see if uh, we have any more clearance issues. Hopefully this resolves the issues that we had before and we can move forward now with measuring uh for our rear end cut and uh, we can go ahead and order our barrels uh i'm sorry not barrels but order our our axles and uh and move forward with uh this phase of the project yep yeah, they came out dope man came out real nice yeah sidewalls much narrower i can see it now with the tire mounted um, big lip, the thing swallows most of my hand. So that's, uh, that's a seven inch lip right there. Uh, new, new outer barrel, new inner barrel, fresh powder coat. Powder coat complements of Powder Man powder coating in Cypress, Texas. Brand new tire, 275, 25, 22. That's a Lizetti tire. Uh, one of the kind of off-brand Chinese tires. But I'll tell you what, man, for, for an off-brand Chinese tire, these Lizettis are actually really nice tires. I think this tire cost me, I want to say, I think I paid like 130 bucks for, for, for each of these tires. Um, so not not bad at all. So and if, and if I lose a tire, I pop one or whatever, I've, I've invested so little in the tire it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have to replace it you see so we got our, our nine fort nine in there just test fitting it measuring for uh clearance also we're looking for the right placement so that we don't have any any rubbing issues um so of course once once we get the the measurements exactly where we want them andre will will cut where he needs to cut we'll order axles and then, of course, I'm going to actually have this sent to a powder coater so they can powder coat it so it looks nice and fresh. And then uh, we'll move on to uh, the next phase. But you can see it there. Big Ford 9. We got big power coming in this car, so we need, we need a big rear end to hold it all. What should tell you? I think the back spacing should be like with three, three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. Yeah. Because for for the rear end, is that right now? That's centered. Oh, okay. Oh, dang, you got it in there. Okay, you got it. Oh, you got it propped up on the. That, yeah, that, the rear end is the pinion is centered right there. Okay. So, see, that's how much I gotta cut on this side. Oh this wow. Center. If if if, uh, if the. Let's say if you have an, uh, a four rear end, right. that the, the pinion is already centered and the axles are, are two different sizes. Okay. If the pinion is off center, then both axles are going to be the same size. Gotcha. So we're taking our measurements here. So Andre knows how much to cut from the axle or from the rear end. And it'll also tell him the right size axles to order, the right length. I'm checking for clearance for the, the brakes. Oh, okay. I yeah. see. Because so, it's 
from here to the flange is two inches. Okay. So that's that. And then you have three and three quarters on the back space. center because from here to the flange okay it's two inches all right so that's the two inches right there okay so let's say if i put the axle in here bolts up the wheel the wheel is going to hit right there so it will be two inches there and then it would be that's one and a quarter that's three and a quarter and then the thickness of the rotor. So it's gonna have to be off center this way about a half inch. But the, the main thing that I wanted to find out what the offset was because let's say this is center, right? They say this is where I gotta cut it. Right. This bracket hits right here. Uh oh. Oh wow. Okay. So if I have to if I if like this right now I have to bring it over about three quarters of an inch. I see. Now it lands on the inside where I need it. Ah, uh, okay. Because if not, I would have to I have to make some of these that are... I, right, I got you. I yeah. see. Now, that's why I, want, I needed to know, because I'm, I'm changing these out. Yeah, right. Those are too big, and I have them over here. <sighs> the set I had were from, uh, from the bigger size. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're for the, for the big four. They're for... for that other truck that's out there. Ow, ow. That they over here, I think. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that from? Uh, what's it called All Star Performance. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're the ones that I've always used. So these are the flanges you're showing me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, these are a different bolt pattern. Oh. And that's because the Torino is that billet? It's solid. Uh, oh, okay. That it's a smaller bolt pattern. I see. Smaller bolt pattern and a smaller bolt. That's a half inch. Oh snap! Okay. Yeah. So so these are too big. Yes. Yeah. So those are the ones you're gonna put on. Yeah. Okay. Even this doesn't fit your your brakes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it, on the on the year change. The older ones have bigger ones. Okay. The little bit newer ones have the smaller one. Could you drill that out? It, no, the bolt pattern is different. It doesn't even match. Oh, oh it doesn't even match. Okay, yeah. I got you. I got you. Okay. And if you did, you're... Yeah, you're running into... Getting into that. Yeah. How, how do you get that into that? You press it in? Is it... No, it slides in. It slides in? Okay. Yeah, yeah th this is made specifically for this size. I got you. The, the one I just did for the other uh, truck over there, because that's the rear end I cut, the one I posted. Right. Uh, That one measures 47 mm. flange to flange. Okay. Yeah, I got to cut off like 17 inches dang yeah so it'll, it'll work because uh, i'm gonna keep the wheels is the wheels the closest part okay it's gonna be three quarter inches from here okay off this way got it so uh the thing is i'll have to set that in there first and then get get all everything mocked up and okay. then i'll see if i have to cut anything over here okay the, yeah for for the height you want it wow okay good so so that's that's a, that's a positive so <laughs> it, it it will work uh, yeah it will work for our yeah. our setup yeah and then uh once i start messing with it i'll i'll i'll, I'll take the rear end back out because I, I was trying to build the brackets but i needed to know like, where it's gonna land yeah yeah i and i should have the <laughs> other wheel hopefully next week sometime he's gonna try to overnight it to me so maybe i'll get it like tuesday or wednesday and then the the powder coater says as soon as i get it to him he'll he'll powder coat it that day and then and then put them together so i'll have both wheels hopefully by Worst case scenario, end of the week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But you're good with just the one, right? You, you yeah, can, I can. I can do what I got to okay. do with yeah. the one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I'm I'm measuring off of the frame. Right, right. Okay. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna go off the frame. Okay. Get it set. Right. And then once we lower it, okay. whatever needs to get cut on the sheet metal is gonna have to get cut. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I got yeah, you. We can only tackle one thing at a time. And yeah, yeah. 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 If I try to figure out everything at once, it, it's it yeah. is doable. Right. But man, it, you got, it's got to be precise. Right. Yeah. No, I understand. Everything perfect. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, and it's mainly depending because the lower you go, when it articulates, that's when it rubs. Right, right. And I'm not trying to go super low, but I do I do want it to tuck. If, if that, that tire should help out a lot, because yeah. the other one was sticking out. Right, right. Yeah, that one yeah, that one uh this one's almost like an inch narrower. Yeah, yeah than, it, it, than the it, other tire. It, it's a lot of difference. Yeah. So hopefully that helps out with the back. Yeah, exactly. I was talking to a buddy of mine. He was pretty much saying like the only, only really the only advantage of going with a nine over like an eight point eight is uh, for like race applications. They're, they're stronger, from what I understand. Yeah, that, that's I mean, what I, even even uh, um, Paul Brothers told me that. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I was explaining to him. I was, but I was like, you know, I don't have. Yeah, if you snap an axle, it's quick. Four bolts in and out. You, right. And uh, that that's I mean. The, uh, I like working on them, assembling them. Right. They're easier. Right. But doing the gear internals uh -huh. is harder. It's harder. Yeah, than, 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 the, than, the, than the Chevys. Interesting. But okay. The Chevys, if you need to take one apart, you got to open it up, drain all the fluid on the forge. You don't. You just take off the wheel, remove the brakes, four bolts in and out, and you replace that's the it. Yeah, that's just it. Just that quick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because uh, it, it, it doesn't have a C clip on it. Oh, right. Okay. The Chevy, you have to. You have you, even on the shares you can make them where they don't have a secret. I see. Yeah. So on this guy here, um, are you just building a rolling chassis for him? Is that what you're doing? Well, I'm doing the chassis first, and then uh, next weekend he's bringing the truck so I can swap everything. So okay. I'm doing the whole the whole LS and everything going into this one. Right. And then uh, and then I'll do the, the body. But that other truck's a, a fully functioning drivable truck. Really. So I have to just get it all get it all back in. Right. But, Uh, oh, this is the one where you said the guy yeah. had sent his stuff to the powder coater? Yeah. And, okay. They never got it done. Yeah. Came out nice. Yeah, it's wrong color. <laughs> what color was it supposed to be? It's supposed to be satin. Oh, so this is gloss. Yeah. So he didn't want gloss. Nope. He told us specifically. He's got all the messages. He told her, I, I want to do not want gloss. Wow, man, I hate that when that happens, man. Like, you try to over-communicate. At first, you wanted me to rattle can it. I mean, I'll rattle can it. I mean, why are we to rattle can it? But what if a powder coat? Like, that's how you do it. If you want to, you, you, I thought you have to deal with it. I'm not, I don't want to mess with it. Right. Did you do this? You did this work, well, right? He bought this frame already with Airbag. Oh, yeah, he okay. He brought it over. I took it apart and, uh, and, and had everything laying there. I and, see. Uh, and then sent the frame to powder coat. Is this his battery tray? Yeah, he, he he regrets telling me not to cut it off and doing a billy one after, but it's too late now. I mean, it's still clean. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, he said that, uh, you know how you have the gas tank here? He has the, he had the double gas tank. Right. Well, on this side, they removed the gas tank. Okay. And uh, where you, the little gas door. Right. They have the, where they do the jumper cables. What kind of wheels is he going with? Uh, right now, this is what he's got. <laughs> Well, I'm, I mean, I'm, he, I'm assuming he's going to go with some he, kind of aftermarket wheel. Uh, he's going 20s only. 20, okay. Yeah, but no, no cutting rear really random. So older guy, younger guy? Hey, nice. Right. Younger than us. Younger than us? He looks young. He said it's for his son. Oh, okay. Okay. But, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. What's this stuff here? This Master Pro. Oh, that's what I used to. I cleaned off the grease. Because I was uh, replacing the body. Because I'm replacing all the body joints as well. Oh, right. And okay. So it was all full of grease in there. Oh, okay. So I got I you. I cleaned it all up. I see. Is it like brake cleaner? Is it kind of no, like... No, it's, it's, it's like, a, it's thinner. It just thinner? It cleans, oh, okay. it degreases. Right, right. And I see you got, you got good old grade eight. Yeah. Bolts, man, this oh, is good stuff, man. He, he, I, I told him when, when he dropped down, I told him, hey man, all these bolts, dude, like, everything's old, dude. And yeah. Then you can tell that, because they were Teflon nuts. Oh, really? So, man, once you take them out, you're not supposed to reuse them. Re yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I told him, man, I, re I like going with the actual yeah. part, like a uh, locking gun. Yeah. Yeah, this is good stuff here. You see that, guys? Grade eight. You guys doing a build like this? Man, don't put that Home Depot, Lowe's hardware 
bolts in your car, man, use the good stuff. It's a little bit more expensive, but I promise you, you'll appreciate it in the long run. This stuff is way better, looks better, and it holds up better to the elements. Um, yeah, this guy here, he's got a nice, nice bill coming along. Look at that. So that's that. Let's see what that's. What? I think he said it's a 70, 77? 77? Okay. 77, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So shooting, well, I'll have it rolling by tonight. Okay. Uh, but he's bringing the other truck next next Friday. Oh, uh, okay. The one you're going to swap yeah. the body on? Yeah. Okay. So brings it Friday. I'll start gutting it Friday night. And then uh, hopefully have it on my, have the engine and everything on my Sunday. Right. And then get everything on the frame done and then just swap the body. Right, Cause, right. Because on the, on, the, on the cab, it's just plug. You just got to plug it in. Right, right. Yeah. It, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nah, this is cool. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Uh, so we got our update on uh, the Monte Carlo project. Um, as you can see, Andre is moving along on this thing. Once we get this suspension and brake upgrade process out of the way, this phase is done. Then the next project or the next phase is going to be the engine and transmission build. So um, that's going to be some killer content. I cannot wait to get that, uh, that project started. So, of course, our, our friends over at uh, nemesis motorsports uh rick and ricky uh tuned by ricky and uh and rick ricky ticky my boy uh they're gonna give me take care of me and knock out that project for me so i can't i can't uh man i can't wait so but just to get let you guys know we're doing an lsa engine out of a 2013 camaro z01 we're gonna do a, a stage three cam uh we're gonna do ported and polished heads from hooper heads we're also gonna do a uh, a bigger blower 2.6 kong performance uh blower and uh, a bunch of other goodies, guys. So the idea is to try to get this thing somewhere north of 800 horsepower to the ground. Uh, more if we can, but you know, 750, 800 is kind of like the goal. And uh, uh, and then once we get the thing, get it together, man, it's time to go hunting for some Mopar guys. So uh, much love and respect to my Mopar community. You guys are cool, man. But um, I, I, I got to put this thing on the road and see what we can do with some of these Hellcats and 392s and scat packs and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so definitely looking forward to that guys. Next video hopefully will be um, kind of a complete uh, video of the complete finished product. So stay tuned for that guys. Don't, uh, don't, uh, don't touch that dial, but make sure you keep it locked here. Um, like I said before guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have subscribed, and you've been coming for a while, uh, be sure you hit that notification bell down there just so you know uh, you're notified of every video when I drop it. But um, guys, until next time, I'll see you on the next one, okay? Take care, bye.